Nowadays, technology is changing our way to see nature photography. Day by day, there is always something new, something magic, like AI, the artificial intelligence. Are we ready for this change? Hello everybody, and welcome back in the channel. I'm Giuseppe, an Italian natural photographer, and today in my vlog, I'm gonna talk about something will change our life as a natural photographer. You know, recently we saw many stuff with this abbreviation, AI, artificial intelligence. Actually, it's not really new, because we are getting used to it from science fiction. In past I read a lot of science fiction books about the topic, as well as watched films, and every time was amazing. I've been always fascinated by this topic, human, robots, sentient computers and so on. But before keep on, if you are interested in nature photography, this is the right channel and I only ask you to subscribe my channel as well as give, a, uh, give me a like, I really appreciate it. And now it's time for photography to approach this new technology. Actually many modern smartphones already have this technology inside and now it's quite easy to get stunning images with small sensors and tiny lenses. Thanks to the technology, thanks to AI. In my ch uh, other channel of photography gear, I publish uh, news about Sony and its AI gear. If you are interested, you can watch it, clicking the link above. Anyway, considering that news, I was thinking about which direction is taking photography, and more specifically, nature photography. Just now, with mirrorless cameras, we can get really good images using high AF, so we can have our subject quite always with, uh, with eyes in focus. It doesn't matter if it's human or animal, this technology works always well. And now, what's the next step? Sony has just presented its new camera, the Sony Alpha 7R Mark V, where we claim a new autofocus system AI based. Basically, this new autofocus will be able to better recognize not only people and animals, but objects as well cars, for example. For a sport photographer, might be really interesting this news, but it's not my target. You know, I love nature and my thought is about it. With this new autofocus system, I think we'll be able to photograph easier animals, maybe always in focal very highs, or at least the head, even with insects. To be honest, I'm really excited by this news and I'm looking forward to trying this new technology. Maybe Sony will update with a new uh, firmware, the flagship Alpha One, with this new autofocus. At least I hope so. For sure, it'll be a great update for the Alpha one users. But a question comes to my mind. Are we getting lazier photographer with all this stuff? Or are we be able to use it well? I don't know. I'm pretty sure that we'll be able to take more easily good images, at least well exposed and with the subject in focus. But I'm not sure that I'm a mediocre photographer will stay like that. Okay, technology will give us tools for an easier life for photography. And not only for that, of course, but the main difference will be I will use that technology and I will be able to take properly advantage of it. At the end, I think only very good photographer will be able to use it very well, taking beautiful images much more than now. As always, man is the difference. Someone might think that in future we will not take photos anymore, at least like now. And many aspects of photography will be automated. Maybe many of us will lose the pleasure to photograph, maybe to stay natural, to enjoy the nature. But remember, they are only tools. We have to decide how to use them and to take advantage of this stuff for thinking other aspects of photography, like the composition, for example, or the creativity. So I think we'll have more free time to express ourselves and we haven't got to concentrate to a technical aspect so often like now. And we can better enjoy our passion for nature. Fortunately, not only Sony is working in that direction, and I'm sure uh, other brands will introduce this technology in their products. So really soon we'll see many stuff AI oriented. Okay guys, it's time to say goodbye. Please tell me what you think about this talk. I'm pretty curious to know uh, your thought about it. And I want to thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.